<laughs> some things. Uh, um, I'm going to talk with you about uh, generating integrity, preserving associations. It's uh, currently it's in a, I would say, an alpha release, um, and it is a package uh, which is in the store distribution. Uh, and I, as I said, said below, I, it's the first step to Biome. Biome is a support for, uh, much further support for agile development. Um, but I'll come to that later. Uh, generating integrity, preserving associations started this winter. Um, I had to develop very fast model with a, a lot of classes and with a lot of uh, relations between classes or associations between classes. And um, after just a couple of uh, hours, I said, "Hey, I have to generate it instead of just develop it, just program the whole out." Uh, why? Uh, actually, I use the technology for developing uh, associations, which started something like 25 years ago. Uh, at that time, I, uh, after some experience with the electronic small book, I used Maths, the grand grandfather of uh, Object Studio. And I ran into the problem that my memory ran out. <laughs> and I found out that there, and there were lots of objects which uh, were not. <laughs> ah, good, thank you. Which, which were, uh, I thought were thrown away and which weren't. So I said, hey, I have to do something. And I devised some rules. And I called that at that time object normalization after the battle in the relational world with the tense of the thirteenth normal form, but it has the same okay. uh, the same purpose. Um, what is GPA? GPA is uh, a set of parameterized uh, implementation level patterns which are able to create the associations that means both uh, for, for it, it is split in a number of roles and each role uh, is implemented by one or more classes um, the pattern describes the type of association and uh, current focus of GPA is on uh, pure associations like the 1 to N, N to M, uh, 1 to 1 association, but it goes much further. It is actually just generating <coughs> integrity level uh, patterns. It looks like MDA, but it is not. It's a completely different focus. The focus is integrity. And this is the overview I made, it's uh, integrity in domain models. Then comes a word which is not very common here, it's homeostatic um, methods uh, or self-regulating approach. Um, I think that's very core to what is being done. Um, then there come the patterns of integrity preserving associations, how they, are, how they look like, how I have to specify for a certain specific to uh, um, association the, uh, the, the, the parameters and finally I come to the grand uh, total and that's uh, biology inspired object oriented modeling environment or biome in of which this is a part. The problem, objects may change their states and this change may influence state of other objects. 
That's what's always happening, isn't it? I just changed something here. Another object thinks, and it's based on an older version, and things doesn't uh, are not completely as they think that the state should be. Um, and this is what we call an integrity problem. And this is, in, in, in relational terms, this is actually the uh, dangling object, dang dangling pointer thing, which we see often. Um, this can be cured by a home homeostatic approach. Uh, and I will show you how it works instead of just going into a theoretical approach. But, that's the downside, homeostatic algorithms are time consuming in development and it requires extensive testing. Classical way of object structures, I like to talk about ER structures instead of class diagrams. Uh, class diagrams are wonderful, but they mix up uh, instance level relations with class instance and class level relations. Um, and the GPA solution is a set of rules that can be guarded. But for this thing I divide the object of a domain model to three types. I call them data types, which are actually immutable, but should be immutable. And examples are integer, of course. Timestamp, which is actually immutable. And classes with that, with, that are definitely mutable, but which, are, which should not be mutable within the existence of the model. And that's actually the, the whole thing. You should not change... Uh, it, it, it is supposed that during the lifetime of a model, the data objects don't change. Structure objects. Typical example is collection. That's all the stuff that supports uh, the structure of object, uh, objects. And finally, model objects. Model objects are all the rest. And are actually what Gail this morning said, those are the concepts we are working with. There are three rules. Data objects should never be changed. Uh, I, I always use there a, a simple example. Suppose I have, my name is from Austin, and I don't like that name. And my father, my father's name was from Austin too. And the names of my boys are, are from Austin too. And suppose I change my name, and all are, all are pointing to the same string. When I'm able to change that string, Suddenly, both my father and my sons do not have their old name. Well, they didn't change it. Don't want to. Second rule is that structure objects should be kept private. Should not be allowed to change a structure object from outside the object. A bad example of this. <laughs> is the XML element uh, uh, variable elements. I can ask for elements and it gives me the elements. And without the knowledge of the original element, you can change it. That can really create bad things. You shouldn't do that. Okay. And finally, the third rule is navigation between two model objects should always be bidirectional. If I know this object, the other one should me, know me too. And this makes it possible to say, okay, I changed something within me, and always have control of what has changed, but I can warn you 
another object directly, uh, you should change yourself in accordance with the change I have. Advantage and disadvantage. The main model is always stable, and I have an experience of 25 years with it. It always works. It's fine. <laughs> Great. And there are a number of patterns which can which support those rules. You can define those patterns. Um, they work fine. Disadvantage. Coding is more complicated. And it's a very repetitive and quite boring task. And it's, as usual, error prone. So, at that time, you come to the conclusion, I can do better and make something which goes faster and is more reliable. Solution. Uh, it's a framework for generating pattern-based code. Uh, what it has to specify is the main, the main model, which contains a number of classes and a, a number of associations, <coughs> which, is spec with a, which is specified in a package. I talk visual words, but uh, comparable things are there in, in other languages. And the namespace. I have a collection of data domain classes. Um, for example, I have a swimmer and a swimming yeah, swimmer events and things like that. Um, a collection of classes, of a, a collection of associations and their roles. And I say, okay, in this associ this association. This role has to be implemented by that uh, class, and this role has to be implemented by that uh, class. The anal analysis is that I, in, 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 once I model the association, that's one thing. Uh, well, that's the way they communicate. I have a number of patterns. Currently, I'm um, developing more uh, to one that is actually the access uh, attribute uh, in the Visual Works browser. So, uh, too many, that is, I have a number of uh, uh, related objects. One to one, one to many, many to many. Double linked, that means uh, I have two one-to-n relationships to the same object or the same class. Yeah, so, uh, the, 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 the famous example of order and product and order line. Order line is both and at the same time the, uh, uh, the relation to a product and to an order. And a tree. And anybody could uh, add other patterns. It's just very simple. You have to work it out. It's not that much more complicated than uh, defining your own classes. Let's have a very, very simple example. It's the get method of the 2-1 association. How does it look like? I have a coding stream. Coding stream is something which relies uh, uh, very much to the, the macro expansion we know in, in uh, error uh, 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 description. It's uh, played from there. I mean, it's uh, developed from there. Um, I said I have here between. Uh, in lines four and five, the actual code. The only thing is, I have there between the, the, the uh, what do you call the, the, the appellants, I have instead of, I have a one comma simple double s, <laughs> column s, and that should. 
I, the, 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 the art is a dictionary of dictionaries with the first one a, the role and the second one the type of <coughs> variable and that I have a type variable simple, I have a type, type variable far and I can have all kinds of other variables and it is just filled in and the column S just says um, take the string as it is column uh, uh, uppercase S says okay take the string as, as it is but make the first uh, character an uppercase and column P just make a print of it and finally I create the result stream knows how to uh, uh, take off this thing the, oh, the selector and I have the actual code of the get operation this is of course a very simple example but you can imagine if you have a, a, a double linked uh, association with actually four roles of which two are played by the same object you have a bit more uh, the specification of an association how do I fill in the, uh, the actual uh, arguments I have to choose which pattern is going to be implemented for each row I specify, specify by the association the association the, the, the pattern knows which rows there are you have to fill in for all the rows uh, which variable uh, which uh, method names and all kinds of stuff you have to fill in I have defined uh, an XML format JIPA XML definition I can just specify the association and GXD is comparable to class diagram definition in HTML, but it's not the same for I really need the uh, yes. What is the, the result of this is if I have a one of two end relationship um, do I yes I missed something this, this one here you see a one to end relationship in the blue lines you see the uh, one to many master and in the brown the one to many uh, detail and then comes in the green the actual uh, association definition you see it says row one variable mountain single mount multiple mountain and the implemented in class is uh, g master one to many the blue the many row variable master I have key selectors and uh, if it is going to create things uh, that is just some details I because of the time cannot explain and this is the result this is all the methods are, that are get generated just by this bit code uh, actually when and this, this all uh, go and uh, already tested this. A simple example of, and I will do this one and the next one, yeah, no, is the uh, set master. I first check whether my master is already the master it should be. Uh, this is actually. Well, it's not setting the master, but uh, guaranteeing, that's actually the, the whole thing, guarantee that master is the one I say it should be. Uh, that means there has to be some, uh, something done, but first of all I sh should check should I change anything? And that's line two. Then line three says, okay, if 
master is not the existing master, uh, the, the new master, and it's also not no, it belongs to another uh, one to many association, and I want to throw the older master out. It goes into a recursive uh, algorithm which really uh, guarantees that. That's what is done in old remove math. And remove math removes the math from uh, the, 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 the master, and the master is also giving back. For, okay, now this, this is new. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. And it comes back to here. And now I can fill in the new master. If that's not new, then this will become the new master, and the new master sends to the uh, master adding <coughs> to your list. Uh, and of course, that's again a recursive thing. Um, the, 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 this is the other one, the result. Uh, a class diagram can be specified in GXD using an external editor like Oxygen. This generates uh, already tested code about 10 times the size of what I specify. And developing a model, uh, bits and pieces, and uh, incrementally helps, is, is really helped by using this stuff. That's okay. Work to do. Uh, GPA is part of a larger project, Beyond, Beyond is Biology Inspired Object Oriented Modeling and Engineering. And the structure of biology, biology science can be used as a metaphor for agile object oriented development in its environment. Uh, let's just do the mapping for a while. Cell theories about objects, gene theories, classes, roles, and persistence. Uh, that are fundamentals. Um, then comes the, 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 the design or research areas, um, physiology is uh, algorithms, structure is object structure, class diagram, taxonomy and inheritance, and ecology comes to the interaction of objects. Finally, uh, a thing which is in the theory of biology uh, twice, that's evolution, it's both in design, or in, in science, uh, research and in uh, fundamental powers. And the last is energy, which is efficiency. And finally, homeostasis. And that's not named in information, in computer science, well, hardly. Uh, it's not named. If you look at the uh, views among the view controller, it is used. Um, it's often used, actually. And it's self uh, regulation, uh, regulating associations. And you can build that up uh, quite far. Uh, the only place in information, even in computer science, where I find the term homeostasis is in virus detection. And given uh, that our systems grow and grow and grow and become more complex, just attention for self-regulation is a very important thing. You have to be sure what is going on. So, um, Okay, this is, I should end. These are the focus of my own, uh, and uh, I think that's, uh, I cannot go any further, further, but I hope you enjoy it. Can I have time for just a couple of questions? Yes. I was uh, wondering how the set of relationships you chose uh, relate to the web ontology language and descriptive logic. Uh, to web ontology, um, I just defined a couple 
just to uh, uh, to ex and get experience with it. Um, it. I don't know where it's complete uh, ontology of a relational ontology, but uh, th these are just some things I use regularly. Yeah. Yes. yes, of course, but you start there, and it, it is really easy to define other. Uh, patterns as well. Uh, so, um, if this is going to be something which is going, uh, there should be some place where everybody can put his patterns. I'm, I'm just curious because Anyf and, and Al are in XML format typically as well. So, I'm wondering how close they'll end up being. Uh, you mean uh, XML and what? Your, your XML yes, and XML. Uh, they are quite near to each other, but um, uh, there are uh, cer uh, certain specific things that, that are different. Uh, I could not um, use XML uh, at, at the moment I, I was developing it. So it's, it's, uh, it's, Perhaps we could, uh, I could uh, change some things that would uh, really uh, map, but for example, you, uh, the, the definition of the type of relationship is uh, restricted to a couple of names. You have to have, uh, that could be a stereotype association, <coughs> but then that association could not have any other stereotypes. That's, that's how it is. it's more restricted in that sense. Yes? Yeah. Um, just curious. Have you thought about, you mentioned self-regulating organization. Have you thought about self-assembly or self-organization uh, mm -hmm. of you know, systems using this type of modeling? Um, you mean... Uh, <laughs> Existing uh, self uh, organizing systems. Actually, I was thinking of uh, uh, it currently programs you know, depend very much upon our ability to organize things logically, but it's been suggested that that's not a very um, good organization in the long mm -hmm. run, that we need actually uh, to depend on programs being more probabilistic. We need them to be self-organizing, more organic, uh, more like living systems. Um, that's not yet in this. Uh, it is just uh, nothing more than a way to uh, generate code. I said it is the first step in a larger project. I was thinking about what you might be doing in that larger project. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>